everything. Everything here. I dig this whole aesthetic, this whole vibe. It's all good. <laughs> I miss these old chunky 90s beats. The sampled versus the actual just record being repeated. Sheesh. It's obvious my hair needs to be cut. It's like... It starts behaving weird when it gets long and unkempt. Good news is it's on my eyes. It feels like the most Wednesdayest of Wednesdays today. This character looks awesome on this. It almost like fits. All burpy. I had one beer. It's very good beer. But I had one beer, and now I'm just like endlessly gross. That's white wine. That's not beer. Um, <laughs> I've moved on. Just feeling a little, you know. I don't want to say celebratory, but. I am super stoked about this trip to Scotland. I've got some incredible upgraded photo gear. Like this is easily gonna be like my best looking travel video. I'm still working on the uh, Maui one. I got myself in a hole on that video and now I don't know how to get myself out. That's what I'm working on. <laughs> it's Wednesday. Thanks for joining me. My name is Holiday Rob here on Rob's Not Playing, twitch.tv slash Holiday Rob. You can check me out on Patreon, TikTok, and what's the other one? I don't know. What? Holy balls. plays music plays the well little I mean back in the day we'd call that trip hop like it has very it seems very kind of trip hop ish not quite it's writing a fine line though most of those chill beats remind me a lot of like trip hop the more kind of easier digestible trip hop not the kind of more surreal I mean, it never gets super beyond, <laughs> like, experimentally. Like, it's it's got the beat that's holding it down. That's kind of the backbone, you know? And Should we drive? We should drive, huh? Bam! I don't think there's a... Oh, snap, there is. In the back. It'd be hilarious if it was my long-range rifle. Oh, you said... Um, I'm gonna grab that. 
I never have gotten to use that dragon's breath yet. Oh, I don't have enough keys. Darn it. Darn it. Darn. Oh, oh. I've been sliding the whole time. Yeah, I mean, how are you going to stop my awesome vehicle from doing what it needed to do? <laughs> Pretty much got most of the firepower I'm interested in. We're almost there. Uh, ran out. Damn, then he ran. Uh, yeah. Oh, what do we got? Yeah, that one. Got a purple lineup going on here. What's up, kids? Boingy, boingy, boingy. Turns out I did find a, uh, oh, hey. Fireflies, sure. Beer to white wine was a bold move, but smart. I love whiskey. It's just like so drying. Like you just feel dry, dry afterwards. Can't feel like that all the time. I don't know what I needed to check there, but I need a moment to check it. Cash money. I wish I wanted the sword. It's not as, like, OP as the hammer, which I'm fine with. That thing... ...you get annoying. Not that the, uh... ...sword hasn't had its moments. <laughs> Getting knocked back into the storm only to know you're just, like, not gonna be able to... ...get this person is super annoying. But... ...it is what it is. So I have not been able to get a PS4. I've tried several times to buy them online, like secondhand. Ugh, and I've still not been able to do it. Um, I played the first Last of Us, which was phenomenal, amazing, great, those things. But I have not gotten to play the second one, and I really, really wanted to. But after the first season was open over, everybody started talking about the second one, so I was like, well, I'd rather at least watch it than... ...and get spoilers thrown at me. 
Are you really shooting at me too, bro? Wow, how are you not dead? What? From where? Oh, right there. Hi. Damn, dude. Bitch with your fucking shotgun. God damn it. If I would have had a reloaded fucking gun, I would have had that guy. Oh well. Oh well. Oh well. This shirt is really cool. This song is not 90% of my vibe, but I want it to be 90% of my vibe. Technically, like he's not a baby anymore. Oh my god, he looks like he's gonna fall off the bed. A kid. Anyway, so watching watching a playthrough of the uh, of Last of Us of Last of Us uh, Part Two. I mean, the one I'm watching is roughly like fifteen or sixteen hours. And, uh, I mean, I'm, like, close. I'm four hours away from the ending. I'm definitely further than two-thirds. Uh, it's just so... I can see why people love and hate that game. Um, because... It would not be fun playing a certain character as they have you doing. I mean, I can't give like a full review yet because I haven't finished it. I don't know how it's going to end and I guess the ending would have some like weight on how I feel overall about the about the whole ordeal Supposed to be disrespectful, but it sure looked disrespectful. Here's your fish. Do you have a fish, buddy? Where is that? I want that. Because I'm right by the box. Nope. Over there. Yeah. I mean, not like yeah on that, but. Just a good yeah in general. Did I? 
I'm gonna stick with what I got and see what, uh... I gotta get some kills with this anyway. It's purely... For those purposes. Anyway, uh, second, um... Last of Us, amazing, great, heartbreaking, sucks, angry, uh, <laughs> revenge, um, vengeance, endless violence, cycle of violence, uh, cults, what else? Yeah, just... I don't, I don't... I don't know why being a human being is so fucking complicated. It is just... It just is. I'll never say something like, We're all villains in someone's story. That's like that stupid meme. Show a famous person's face and then some words that have n literally nothing to do with them or any character that they've ever played. Or is completely misinterpreted. You know, definitely a villain in somebody's story. I am, so, um, you know, I'll just own that shit. Lead by example. You gotta own that shit. That's the problem with, that's the problem with, uh, atrocity. And to a larger extent, fascism is like, you're putting, putting your shit on somebody else, man. I'll do you, I'll do you a terrible, um, pop culture reference in this, uh, in this here example. Um, watch The Bachelor, uh, I do, uh, cause I'm a good partner. <laughs> and, uh. This season has been kind of one of the most fucking boring guys. Uh, he's been accused of being in having nice guy syndrome, which is like, you're nice until you don't want to be nice. Not, not you can't be nice, just you don't want to be nice. Um, anyway, that has nothing to do with this. Uh, <laughs> I don't think anybody out there watches this show, so I can't... I'll, I'll, I'll still say spoilers, um... But basically, like, this season... He was left with three girls. And there's a point where you get to, like, spend the night together, and whatever happens, happens, is usually... The... The... Thing of it. Which I say is fair. If you're gonna marry somebody after, like, X amount of weeks, uh... You know, maybe go for a fucking test drive. Take, take, take a, take it all out for, uh, uh, you know, spin the wheels for a bit, you know, just, just see if, like, it's gonna be okay, cause the last thing you wanna do is be like, yeah, we did it, we got married, and then go for it and be like, I don't even think that was close to the best I ever had. And I don't even remember what their name was. Uh, <laughs> kind of thing. You don't, you don't want to live with that kind of thing. You want to be able to say confidently that like, all parts fit and uh, it was really good. And uh, I want to do that a whole lot more. So we need to, you know, lock that shit down. <laughs> <laughs> lock my shit down too, damn. Just lock this whole situation down. The situation must be locked. Yeah, um... Sorry, weird tangent. Uh... So... From the start, this guy has put a lot of emphasis on that part of that week instead of acknowledging that like 
holy shit, we're physical beings and we need to be physical to survive and live and thrive. Uh, he minimized it or, or brought a lot of attention to it, in my uh, opinion, um, by calling it sex, sex week. And so then he calls it that, and then he's like, um, he calls it that, but then he makes a rule where he's like, well, I'm not going to sleep with any of my potential wives to be. And so like right there, you're just like setting yourself up for failure because, um, because you're human and physical touch is probably one of the like, you know, if you're into it, not, not like people, not like folks who, so maybe that's just not their thing altogether. Um, but if you're into it, it's easily just one of the most transcendental experiences of being a very physical creature. Um, and you take part in that through physical act. I don't know. It's, it's conceptually very interesting. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> that being said, sets himself up for failure. And uh, what does he do? Sleeps with his second date. It's two of three dates. What's he got going on? That was good shooting. I can't even, I want to be mad, but I can't even be mad about that. Because that was really good and good shooting. So he sleeps with a second date, two out of three. And then he feels all this guilt. He's like, oh, I made this thing and I did this thing. And instead of like dealing with it with himself and just continuing on with the process as they as they call it on the show with the process of just like going on the next date having a good time maybe possibly sleeping with the third date you know like at that point like why you wouldn't just why you would just wipe that off the table from the get-go I, I i get like well in the context of what he's trying to do but like overall until the day when it's like, hey, we're exclusive, like, none of that shit should matter. Just none of it should matter. You shouldn't care. Um, you know, I don't know. It's just ridiculous. But <sighs> he tells the girl that he slept with, uh, I have to let the other women know. Which makes her feel just like, what kind of reaction is that? Um... Now I feel like everybody just hates me and I have like a scarlet letter. And then he's over here telling the third date, someone who did nothing to him, ruining her night with this nonsense because he can't deal with his own guilt. His feelings, he won't deal with them. So he puts them off on the women about his actions. Those are his actions. He needs to fucking own them. And uh, and and under this guise of like being a stand up a stand up dude, this is what a stand up dude does: is they is they bang other people and then have to tell everybody about it, or talk about focus like have the focus so hard on sex that uh, does anything else matter than really? Like you try and try and pretend it does, but like but like clearly it doesn't. Like all that matters is. <laughs> Who's sleeping with who? I don't know. And it just ruined her evening. I couldn't believe she didn't just leave. I felt so bad for her. I was just like, dude. Because also she's person a personal favorite. So that was really shitty. Don't put your don't put your bad feelings off on other people. Deal with them like an adult. swallow that shit down into a tiny little tumor that you name Ernest or Fred or whatever whatever name you find uh, to be cute when applied to a turtle
couldn't tell what that noise was. I was like, damn, something big is out there. Now oh, look at that. Who did I hear? Heard of somebody. Damn, look at that. I can remember exactly how this conversation began with myself, but um, yeah, just don't put your don't put your uh, your shit on other people. Deal with your feelings. Oh my god! Yes, here we go. This whole thing is burning down. Love it. This is what I came for. Got you, motherfucker. Pretty great. Dude, I get nominated for uh, forgetting what I was talking about, losing the thread on a conversation, even if it's with myself. I feel like I should just stick with these and get like fireflies and do that. That that really paid off. I'm not gonna lie. That was a. Uh, that was a good choice of destruction. Didn't have a lot to work with, was just like, okay, well. Work with this. Uh, okay. Damn, and that guy opened a case and got destroyed, like, that's a bummer. I want to submit, I'm, I'm on Bandcamp. Actually, that's the only place you can get Holiday Sales Music, a band that I was in from 2003 to 2010. Maybe beyond. <laughs> but like, Bandcamp is the only place you can get it, so I wonder if I could submit to like, have my stuff played on TikTok. I'd be like my hero, Open Mike Eagle. Is like the same age as me, but still. Some people were able to uh, lobby their music career into something successful. Okay, well, I wanted to destroy more stuff. But. seconds. Damn it. Oh. I 
I need to run. Like now. Just run. Get away. Get some life. Get. Shit. Could have kept going around the circle, but rally around the family with a pocket full of shells. Oh damn, you didn't hear my joke. I said it was my friend Evan. Evan Williams, single barrel. Delicious cherry smell. Something else, like not quite coffee. It's like that got that raspberry dark chocolate combination vibe. The cherries and it's like vanilla oak. Mm. Oof. All those are going to be so flat when I try them. That one's like right on that beautiful edge of like not being too harsh, but still having some like livelihood. I'm so stoked to go to Scotland, I can't even tell you. Like, the chance to get to try some really old and even rare, hard to find. Like, even just to see a bottle of some stuff that just does not exist, probably hasn't been on the market almost 20 years or something, would be like... Really cool. Really cool. I mean... That's just whiskey nerd shit. I'm sorry, but I'm just looking for that. Uh... So there was this interesting release that was called Flora and Fauna. Um, Scotch whiskey. I can't remember. It was like 20, 12 or 20 bottles of varying styles from different distilleries. And because uh, it's, it's pretty regional, like as far as like the kind of, you know, style of whiskey that it's gonna be, like, they're all... made of the same stuff for the most part, but they're... the way you do something, does, you know, makes a difference. loud. Who knew? Who knew a war zone would be so freaking loud? Alright. I need to go out there and pop some heads. Oof, 
such terrible aim at first. Dude, seriously, that was some stank, stank ass aim. Not good. Not anything you'd brag to your grandkids about, sheesh. Uh, sure. Wow. Look at us. Look at us with our 200 rounds of light ammo. It's, if that is an accomplishment unto itself, then my name isn't Acrimony Omplish Mint. <laughs> that overkill felt like overkill. I wasn't trying to do overkill. Okay, I was trying to do overkill. Fuck it. I wanted to overkill the living shit out of them. This chapter is pretty like battle forward kind of vibes, you know? Like, there's not a lot of exciting things, different things happening here. This is just run and gun, shoot and blow up type stuff. Oh my god. The weirdest part about being a parent of a small child is, uh, you will have songs stuck in your head. And they'll just start playing in inappropriate moments in your head. And you're just like, how did it end up like this? I like all this gold. Very happy with the amount of gold that is uh, being presented to me. I'm gonna take these cans. Is anybody ever using anything besides cans? I, don't, I just, I don't know. Doesn't seem... Not past muster. Muster? Mustard? Muster? Yeah. All right, let's get this juice going. Fantastic. Feel half happy. Hey, look at that. Look at that. Look at all this. All this stuff. I love stuff. Don't you love stuff? Stuff is good. Oh. Sheesh. I was pretty sure you were dead. That was kind of disrespectful. I think I'm just gonna switch over this. I don't think I'm that attached to a handgun that I'm gonna be like, oh, I wish I had my handgun still. No, you don't. You liar. Oh, hi, let's. Oh, and we've got stuff. Oh, ah, uh, sheesh. Ah, uh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, whoa. Whoa, good ride the zip line. Oh, brutal bastion. Bastion. Brutal bastion. Dude, I put that dude down so hard before. It was like bap, 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 bap. Just like that. You guys know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna explain this to my audience. My audience gets it. Who's sliding around? Goom, 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 goom. Do I have a key? Oh, <laughs> three. 
Rory keys. Uh -huh. Um, I know that place takes a key. I think. It's for some reason, brutal bastion. Bastion doesn't. So let's go that way. Uh, where did I? Where? Where was it? Oh, there it is. Sheesh. Freaking. Sliding on the ice. Brought to you by Double Mint Gum. Double Mint. When you need double your pleasure and double your fun, Double Mint Gum. Thank you for this moment from growing up in the 80s. By using a 50s radio trope. It's all very confusing and jumbled. I was raised by boomers. <laughs> you can't blame everything on being raised by boomers, Rob. Come on. <laughs> you take responsibility one of these days. Well, now I wish I was Gen X, because then I would never have to take responsibility. I'm gonna kill. I'm. I. I am gonna use this. This is gonna. Gonna be an implement of doom on my part. I've uh, gone ahead and. Found my uh, anger motivation core. So much gold. All mine. Now I'm just leveling up for fun. I'm just leveling up because I can. I got my... I got my prize. There's w one particular skin. Um... That pertains to weapons that I... I'm gonna try and buy. I saw it twice on the market and I just was like, I'm not guaranteed that I'm gonna get 300, uh, you know, V bucks by just playing. So I need to, need to hold off. Oh, man. It's tough. That virtual stuff hit hard. Oh no, why did I pick that? I don't have that gun. Oh, okay, what? I hear you. I hear you, you little leprechaun. Oh, sheesh. Ah. Such a bummer. Okay, well. Let's go find this guy. Here we are. Not moving very fast. God damn it, mantle. Why why is it not mantling? Uh That was very, uh, Indiana Jones. And the arc one.
Hmm. Some of the... Hmm. Wow. Like, weediness is coming out. I want to say queety. I mean, like, bourbons like Buffalo Trace. I just kind of want to only drink scotch, but it's so expensive right now. And frankly, it's not worth drinking um, anything cheap, frankly. <laughs> it's good for like a baseline, Doug. Don't get me wrong. Like if you're going to try, I mean, it wouldn't be horrible for me to go get like a 30 or $40 bottle. And then just kind of use it as the baseline and kind of get my palate back up. Not that that means something like, you have to drink every day. No, it's just like, you know, there's a lot to it that doesn't involve drinking a lot. There's a lot that has to do with not drinking a lot. And if that's confusing, well, you can talk to my lawyer. You might be able to explain things a little bit better than I did. It's... Will he make it? Ugh. Try not to... myself. Come on. Uh, 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 oh, no. It's probably just taking longer, but maybe not. Where is that going on? I want to know. Drank on. 
Get my Professor Frank on. going on I want to see it I want to be a part of it I want to smell it there's too much good stuff everywhere oh I gotta hang on to this where 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 way out there or just right here That empties you out. That was satisfying. Uh, oh, nope. What's over here? What is that? Another one of these things? Oh, sh yeah, I'll take that. Ugh. One of these. One of these tryhards. Come for you, buddy. Are we cuddling in no time? It's about time to cuddle. Hope you brought a blanket. A blankie. Oh, here's... Really? Sheesh. That wasn't a reroll. This thing is... I'm being passive-aggressive, but, uh... Purposefully useless. <laughs> gotta keep on this. We gotta use this for kills. <laughs> Same ones again. I'm gonna waste my money. Maybe I will. Somebody's around, you can hear them. All right, what, what, what we got? Okay, well now that we got this, I guess everything is all better then. Boop a doop. I don't know if I really care that much. Kevin Williams single barrel. Fantastic. Okay. Clearly nobody is around. The, nobody is around, but the signs are talking to me. Um, take a moment and look at my let's look at our goals and intentions if those don't lead us in the right direction then we may be out further than we mean to be what I love that earlier this is like when you quit your job you're just like no I give up see you fuckers later <laughs> I give up. That Goodbye, cruel world. I jumped on the light rail and was out of here. It was confusing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. 
Let's go. Yeah. Look at this guy. Let's get his asshole. One of life's joys is shooting somebody with the same gun over and over again. Watch, let's. It's better. Yeah. Bloodthirsty man. Somebody bounce out of here or somebody stayed, I don't know. Oh, somebody's inside. Did they get the key? Nope. Oh. oh my god, look at that gun. That was, uh, that was very much worth it, I would say. In fact, we're gonna get the... Get out of here. And go get this loot. That's what we're gonna do. Get this loot, son. Where is it? Where? Where? This way? It's always across the river down here. He happy. Sweet. Pushing this like freaking freaking uh, whatever it's called gun that the sniper rifle like you can't even give me like Nice. I like 
Fifty amount of gold in here. Milking in it. Should we grab a car? Go somewhere else? How many more of these uh, deaths do we need? What's that? Uh, suppress three more. Okay. Oh, look. Here's one. Is that camp? Find out. No. <laughs> A simple no. So I'm not sure where the overcranked or whatever overclocked. Rob. Oh, 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 bummer. Key short, huh? Sure. Use some of those nades, huh? Get on that one. Okay, give me one second. Dang it.
Okay, so this is probably my last round of the night. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm your boy Holiday Rob here on Rob's Not Playing. You can check me out on YouTube, TikTok, Patreon, at Holiday Rob here on twitch.tv slash Holiday Rob. All one single word. Word. No, no, yes. Okay, that's not, that's just not the, that's not the last one, that's the bullshit. <laughs> uh. Okay, one more. Because that was fucking bull. It's not. It's not to the bull. We don't go out like that. We go out top ten. Mother fathers. So stoked for Scotland. Great. What's it called before that? I'm like learning all this history of the area. It's like wild, man. I don't know. It's so confusing. And it's one of those places that they still aren't 100% sure about how certain things transpired. I'm guessing the Celtic network of trade was influential. It's like the language native to um, Welsh, uh, Gaelic in I Ireland, Gaelic in Scotland are all part of the same family of Celtic languages and the Celts were like from I still don't understand the Netherlands but they also have some connection with Spain I, I, I don't I'm again just like not <laughs> I've watched I've gone to several different sources and seen several different things and and I'm still just like ah oh. So there was an Iron Age people, which may be the same people, or are likely the same people as modern day Irish and, and Scottish that haven't been booted out of their own homes. Um, there was thought to have been some kind of Celtic invasion. But that doesn't seem to be the case through genetic profiling. Um, sheesh. I need something, man. Um, and then after that, it was like Norman invasion that the Welsh had to deal with. And then, the, oh, holy cow. What? That was... A successful fishing trip, holy cow. Um, I'm blown away. Then you had the, on the east coast, the uh, invasion of the Saxons, which is like all kind of Norway, Vikings type stuff, like 
continual, continual waves of invader and colonizer. And, uh, and that takes place for quite a while. And then you have the Roman Empire, and the Roman Empire goes all the way up there, builds Hadrian's Wall. It's supposed to block out the Scottish and the rest of the country. And so Rome becomes kind of the default state because the rich people ascribe to the culture and society of Rome. I mean, it's the whole reason we have bad words in English. Um, really? Oh man, I want hot wings tomorrow. Daddy's got to have it. Daddy's got a habit. Daddy's got a habit. Seventy third. Ridiculous. I mean, I am feeling the effects of all these W's. guys with your stupid sword no fun two more objects all I need here we go Be done. Er <laughs> ah, if I could have dropped that when he shot me, that would have been perfect. Fifty two. That's also pretty shitty, but um, I don't, I don't got the smoke. Uh, so thank you for joining me. Um, every Wednesday I try and do a, I attempt to do a stream at 7 Pacific. A little late today, but, and it was a short one. Uh, we'll hang, we'll hang out again real soon. So thanks, thanks, thanks for, thanks for stopping by and being a friend. We'll see you next time.